think that she was maybe cornered in the sense cornered. of being told this is what you think this is all who you are i just think it's really hard to encapsulate people's full point of Nick, view pull up the video the first one and the second on, like, one from a segment of their experience is the audio blasted you okay know? is that you would yeah. you date a police officer no f the pigs because the um institution they support is inherently racist and profiles of black and brown americans especially throws them into jail which is a continuation of the slave trade essentially people are working in prisons for less than minimum wage making pennies and dimes and it's unfair and that's what you contribute to if you're a cop my question to you is i, I disagree with you on yeah i bet you do what? white boy <laughs> that's a bit racist Oh my god, no, you're one of those. How can you be racist against- and I'm also half white, so like, how can I be racist against you? You don't think you can be racist towards someone who's white? No, I don't, because you've never experienced racism in history. White people haven't experienced racism. One of the experiences- What's your definition of racism? Um, I'd say basically like the persecution in any type of way that leads to the downfall of just like someone's life, like- Play the second one really quick. Go ahead. Bro, before before I finish, before I finish, it irritates my soul when people have their own definitions for words you can literally look up. I, like, I can't make a definition of a word when the real definition is on Google. When I can look up the actual definition of racism and see what racism is, and I can apply that and say, okay, this is racism. So if racism is this, then yes, I can be racist to any other race no matter what color of skin i am i could be racist to any other race because the if you look up the definition of racism it shows that you can be it literally shows the real definition of it it actually shows that you can be racist to any other race any other race it, it is not just racism towards black people i like, know you could be racist towards white people you could be racist towards an asian you could be racist towards any other race bro stop making your own definition for words that's already have a definition for them you know what i'm saying like stop making your own definition of bro that irritates my soul people are so ignorant bro it don't make no sense man i think that's really easy to say Nick, you just started it once at again, 50 seconds it's always going to affect my life. I can't take off my skin color. As a black woman, like, prejudices that exist against me don't exist against you, Brian. And that's why you can't be racist against a white person. So I'm the sorry if you feel offended. But you are white, and me calling you white boy isn't exactly it's a racist. Bit, I mean, it's a, you are addressing me by my skin color. I consider Your skin it color will never lead to the, you know, what is it, premature murder of yourself? Like, I don't know, like... I would actually point out one thing to you. Me as a white man, I'm the only male at this table here, there are more white men killed by police officers than women of any race combined. I mean, then why aren't you mad? Why don't you hate police too? Because I, re I realize that police are a necessary function of society. Without police, it would be chaos. We need police officers. I mean, if, I, I think that's really easy to say as you, once again, I'll reiterate, a white person. And again, that's not to be racist. So... Bro, what? Are you serious? Like, people just can't, like, people's minds can't be here, bro. I, okay, let me, let me go back. Of society. Without police, it would be chaos. We need police officers. I mean, if, I, I think that's really easy to say as you, once again, I'll reiterate, a white person. And again, that's not to be racist. So... It's funny that all of you laughed when she called me white boy, which is a racist statement, unless you disagree and you actually think that it's not racist to call a white person a white boy. How? Did it impact your life? How? How did it? What do you mean? How did it impact? No, how is calling you white racist? Are you not white? Well, hold on. There's a certain tone when you say something and her attempting to dismiss my point because of my skin color, aside from just the word she used, it occurs to me that that would be a bit racist. That, that I can't prejudice? weigh in. That's not racist. Well, what's she your definition? What's your definition of you. what's your definition of racism? Oh, my definition of racism is basically exactly what she just said. When your color affects how you live your life completely, <laughs> by saying you're white, that's an observation. Racism is like you're 
subscriber that was talking about I won't date this is why I don't want to bla date uh, black women because they're ignorant and stuff like that's racism prejudice is saying oh she's black that's prejudice so your definition is there well let me let me ask for just bro am I am I'm tweaking but isn't if you look up racism isn't prejudice within that definition though maybe I'm tripping but if you look up racism, isn't prejudice in the definition of racism? Or am I tripping? Or maybe they're just two different words. I, I don't know. Maybe I am like completely lost. But I remember when I looked up racism, I remember prejudice, discrimination, all those things against a person's skin color was all in the bunch of, a, well, it was all bunt into racism. Maybe I'm tripping, y'all. Maybe y'all can let me know something new. I don't know. I, I'm, maybe I'm tweaking very quick okay as soon as this comes through let me just ask this very quick quickly is being prejudiced worse than being racist hmm. no i mean honestly no <laughs> I, we're not all going to be kumbaya of course and so you would agree then that while it's true or may be true from your worldview that you could not be racist towards brian by calling him white boy um, and he used to say it's a prejudice statement. You just said that morally they're equivalently abhorrent, correct? Well, then I take that back because just by saying, stating the obvious that he is white, then yeah, that's not. Are you? But if you say that? if you say that's a prejudicial statement, yeah, then 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 you say it's prejudice, and prejudice is not more immoral than being racist. Well, I just took then that haven't back. Haven't you done you an equal thing? Hang on, hang on. You haven't you done part? an equally? Hang on. Haven't you done an equally immoral thing? By by uh, calling doing something which is prejudice instead of racist. No, if I start like attacking him and saying like racial stuff, which I will not do, then yes, <laughs> but I'm not doing that, and neither was she. No, but but she was. She said that she could not be racist. She said she was being prejudiced. I think it was she was being more degrading than anything. It would be like similar to someone being like calling me four eyes if I was wearing glasses where it's like, yeah, that's my appearance, but I'm not inherently affected by it in like all of society. Wait, what? What? Wait, are you just saying like s s calling someone four eyes is on like being racist against white people is on par with calling someone no, four I eyes? No, I was comparing it to her just degrading you is what bro, she was saying. Bro, but, th but this is the problem that I have. <laughs> I am truly getting irritated now. Because this is the problem that I have with this. You cannot sit here and tell me that you wouldn't be mad if a white person was like, oh, that's easy for you to say, black boy. You will be offended. You will be heartbroken. You will go, bro, you will go into uproar if somebody was sat there and called a white person, sat there and said, you're black boy or you're black man or you're black this or you're black that. You all will sit there and go crazy. So why is the same respect that that we the the same respect that black people want to receive from another person that is not black is the same respect that a white person should receive for a person that is not white. At the end of the day, respect is it's not just given, it's earned. So if you if you sit here and call me white boy, don't be mad when I come back at you and call you by your race or identify you by your race or call you say black boy. Or did like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, it can't be, you can't be double faced with this, bro. You can't look at it from both, look at it from both point of views, bro. You sit there and say, black boy, they, they get mad. Now it's an issue. Now it's a problem. Now I'm racist because I said black boy, but because you call me a white boy and you say it's easy for me to say white boy, that's not racist. That's just, oh, that's just precious. She was just degrading you. Bro, y'all are so double-faced, bro. Like, I don't understand society. You're so double-minded. Like, y'all just don't, like, y'all don't truly know nothing. Y'all don't know the definition of racism. Everybody has their own definition of racism where you can just look it up on Google, look it up in the actual dictionary, and you can find the definition right there, the real definition of racism, but yet nobody wants to go with that definition. Everybody has their own logic of what racism means or what this word means or what that word means. If you're discriminating someone based off the color of their skin, based off the color of their skin, it don't matter if it affected their lifetime or this and that. If you discriminate a person because of the color of their skin, 
Because they are a certain color, because they're not your color, you discriminate them, you're prejudiced, you're this, you're, you do all this because of a person's skin, you are racist. I, like, how hard is it to, like, you are racist. All right, anyways, let's finish. Man. Racially. I would say it is on par because white people don't face racial discrimination. People with glasses don't face glasses discrimination. Well, there, you're you're no more on, hurt. A whole bunch of I would you're like no more hurt by it. someone calling you white than someone is. It might hurt you in the moment. You might feel like you're being degraded or you're being looked down oh, upon. Yeah. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the knockout game? Was like, that all racist? I can think of right was now knockout, is that that's so knockout Raven game episode racist? where she can't get that employment. Like she can't get that. Employment like, I mean, I want. I would like this an, this question answered. What is um, what is the knockout to, game? to your statement? That so there was a, a group of young men, um, young black men who were running around. And they were knocking unconscious older white people for fun. That's, for fun. That sounds like a boomer Facebook say, urban legend. No, 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 that, it's not. I can show you video after video after video. It's called okay, the knockout pull games. Up. Not pull a joke. Up. We're not going to pull up. They were purposely attacking white people, like solely white people. Let's people? assume for a second I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you the truth because I am. Would that be racist? Can you answer that question? Were they solely attacking white people, or were they attacking yes, multiple only, people? Yes, only only white people. Correct. Hold on, we're getting off topic here. Okay, um, bringing it back to you. I, the, the video that we're reacting to is kind of very secondary to the conversation I'm actually trying to have. So you were kind of upset that your friend went on the podcast and she said the things that she said. And that was actually very gracious to her despite what she said. Um, and she got a bit of uh, pushback, blowback from it. Uh, you, you don't take any quarrel with how she conducted herself. Um, I think you're a grown man talking to younger women, and I think um, we've been socialized in such a different way where certain things are considered funny in media or a more casual way to discuss something that's a really hard topic for her and a really hard topic for um, non-white people in general. Can you um, answer the question? Because you're kind of de you're, you're deflecting a little Living bit. Living on this core donated $200. Sorry, Brian. Very simple. Prejudice based on race is racism. Prejudice against any race is racism. You can say it's not as bad since it's towards white people, but that doesn't mean it's not racist. But even if we were to grant to the chatter that being prejudiced is not the same thing as being racist, if there's if they're morally equivalent, then who gives a shit? It's still it's still just as Devon bad as Jackson the other. Thing. Donated two hundred dollars. Racism is literally prejudice based on skin color. Words have meanings. Her assuming Brian's worldview and dismissing his points based solely on his skin color is literal racism, and I'm blah. Well put, Davon Jackson. I just, I'm, I'm not really sure what response you're looking for. I think I was trying to respond in the sense of, I just didn't like that, um... I think I've always wanted to come on a podcast like this and discuss different point of views. And I think I've been really respectful this entire time. I haven't said anything derogatory to you about your opinions. Um, and I just personally didn't like that when she was sharing her opinions, she was faced with um, derogatory messages and kind of like the promotion of that, I believe. Um, and I was not necessarily blaming you or your platform, but rather just the consumption of media and how there's often a lot of derogatory content and hypercritical content when um, she was just expressing her experience in her own way. And I think, you know, if you've had those certain experiences, which obviously I am white and I haven't had those experiences, um, and that was the way that she handled it or interpreted it, I think that that is valid in its own regard. Yeah, I mean, but why side so with That was a lot of word salad, yeah. but okay. Yeah, well, like, why, why, so just Yeah, but the, hear me out. I'm being super respectful to you, and then your response is, oh, that was a lot of word but, salad. Well, you're kind of dancing around the question. I, I'm not. I'm telling well, I asked you. you. I asked you, do you agree that her conduct was, you, you take no quarrel with her conduct? I think I have received the same level of kind of aggressive, um, outspoken, attitude towards me already from specifically um Andrew. yeah he disagrees with you um bro she's answering a question without answering a question bro and it's irritating it's like yes or no like how simple how how much like simpler do you need it yes or no 
Yes or no? It, it, like, do you agree with the conduct that your friend was constructing on the podcast? Do you agree with her morals? Do you agree with her stance? Do you agree the way that she handled the uh, the the questions that was asked to her? Like, do you agree with her calling him a white boy? Do you like do you or do you not? You you literally just bouncing around the question that he's asking. It's not hard. It's like, come on, man, be real. Like, be real with yourself more than anything. Jeez. Which is totally fine I've to disagree with super me. super nice. What do you mean? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you, would you like to see me mean? That's no, not don't fun. Be no, 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 no. Nice. I mean, you're welcome. I'm not I, I can take it. Like, super I don't nice. mind. I'm just saying, I think. I, I don't know what you want me to say. I feel okay, like I've given you my can perspective. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What if it was the other way around? What if he spoke to her the way she spoke to him? Um, I didn't happen, so I'm... But I'm just saying, what if... What if, happen? hypothetical. What's a valid question? I think there is a more historical... Well, I'm just saying in that moment, though, not Yeah, history. yeah, context I think... Matters. No, I'm saying context matters, though. So I think because there is a more historical discrepancy of white people treating black people wrongly, um, it would hold more so value of him being derogatory towards her. Talking to him. I'm not saying whether or not it's justified. I'm saying it would be very different and incomparable. Because if he would say that, he would be canceled. But like since I mean, she was I mean? hated on and also canceled. Because so what she did was wrong. I I'm just what saying. What do you mean? How opinion, do you know she was canceled? What she? I don't know. She was experiencing a lot of hate from it. I, I yeah. You totally made that up. She wasn't canceled. That's insanity. I I mean I don't really know what canceled or not canceled. Then I'm why did you say it? Cancelled in the sense of receiving hate for it? If we're That's talking about canceled. it now. Cancelled is deplatformed, thrown off, you depersoned, okay. debanked, dehumaned. That's cancelled. Okay. All right, here's another well, question. Well, I mean, you say okay dismissively, but you know that this happens to conservatives a lot. They get deplatformed, they get their bank accounts frozen, they get completely thrown off of yeah. all of these platforms and while, while the left cheers. And I think that in this situation, had Brian spoken to her the same exact way that she spoke to him, that is exactly what would have happened to him. And it seems sure. like a double standard. That's what he's pointing to. And he just wants you to address it. I, like I said, this was, this was over a year ago, and I hadn't experienced the full context of this in over, well, we over just a pulled, year. We just pulled up the video. Yeah, and I, and I told you very objectively that that was my feelings towards it during the time. I, I didn't like that, you know, as a young girl, she was received a lot of online hate was my problem with it check this out i'm going to show you how i afforded this oh my okay so she didn't like the fact that her friend received a lot of online hate let me tell you something when you make comments like that do you not expect someone to receive hate especially on a big platform like whatever pot i mean whatever clips Whatever clips they have one, well, this is the whatever podcast technically, but they have 1 million subscribers, 1 million subscribers with a lot of people on here. That's a lot of people that you can't fit that many people in the stadium. So her making a statement like your white boy, oh, you're this, oh, yeah, of course she's going to receive hate. Of course you think that you think that's okay to say you think that she's not supposed to receive hate for what she came out her mouth. Like, I mean, let's be real. Let's be logical, bro. The, like what what comes out of your mouth it matters bro it, it truly matters and you come on the podcast you're you're calling somebody out by their race but it like the girl said what if the roles was reversed what if she said or what if he said you're black girl or you know i said like what if he said stuff like that like come on let's be real bro you can't say it. we need the context we need this we need that we need, like but it's okay for her to say it without the context of the video it's okay for her to say it though like let's make it make sense bro i'm tired of the double the double face theology well i don't even know what you go i don't it's not even theology bro it's just the the double face the double face things that's going around bro like people they 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 like if a white person says something to a black person they cancel if a white person says something i mean if a black person says something to a white person oh it's not as serious oh it's not as deep because historically they didn't go through what black people went through so you know like come on bro stop with this freaking victim mindset bro this victim mentality is crazy bro we need to have a zero, zero victim mindset bro for real you know what i'm saying like you choose the person that you want to be yes black people went through things historically but you choose who you want to be you choose if you want to be better or you choose if you want to be a, a d-head and you want to act like the ancestors of 
what white people did to black people. Like, I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like you choose who you want to be, bro. But I'm not going to sit here and bash the white people that's here today for something that they, for something that they didn't even do. They didn't even do it. But I'm not going to bash them because of their great, 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 great grandfather that they never met in their life did something to my great, 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 great grandmother. Like, come on, man. Let's be real. Let's be logical, bro. Like, I'm not going to do that, bro. That's, that's, that's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupidity. What am I bashing a white person for doing something? What if I'm, why am I bashing white people now for what their ancestors did a long time ago? Like, come on, man. That, that's like my great, great grandfather doing something. My, my ancestors doing something long time ago. Never met my ancestors, but I'm, 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 I'm taking on the repercussions that of their actions for what happened a long time ago, bro. That's petty, bro. That's, that's, that's really petty. We this whole racism thing, bro. It's better things to worry about in America, bro. <laughs> and racism is not one of those things that we should honestly be so worried about in America. Like, come on, bro. It's it's greater. It's it's bigger problems in America. It's super bigger problems, and we're worried about a, a race. We were we still focused on people's skin color. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy Japan. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.